Hey guys, it's Chuck Nice coming to you from the Star Talk All Stars Studios here in New York City, and we are now coming to you live on Facebook. That's right, we're Facebook living it, and I have with me, yes, it is Emily Rice, astronomer at the American Museum of Natural History, and Summer Ash, an astrophysicist, and they are both the co founders of the Star Torialist. Yes, and that's why you guys are wearing awesome such nice. awesome fashions. It's called we call we it both. Star Torialist, even though there's two of us. <laughs> we're not that great at math, even though we're astrophysicists. No, we're joking. Oh, uh, that's funny. We have a Facebook page. Make sure you check out our Facebook page. Yes, and check please. out our blog Follow at startorialist.com. Awesome, awesome. So you know, we just wanted to do a little. Um, a little uh, Facebook Live because every once in a while we like to do this, especially when we're in a studio here uh, where we can reach out to the fans and just let them know. First of all, everything that we do uh, from this studio uh, can be seen in video form on Star Talk All Access Live. I mean, no, Star Talk All Access dot com. Okay, it's Facebook Live. It's Star Talk All Access dot com, which you guys probably see me on Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, I come on and I tell you what's coming up on Star Talk All Access dot com. So, but right now, we've got some stuff to talk to you about. That we just want to have some fun. Serious business. Very important. Very, very serious. Very important, very important business. I think um, we all need this. And everybody needs this right now because we're talking cats in space. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. Cats in space. So, Someone make that show. <laughs> okay. By the way, what the hell is up with cats in space? Huh? There are what? two things that everyone loves space and cats. And and it's so funny because that's all you see is, uh, all over the internet is cats in space. So I'm going to look for um, some comments while you guys right. uh, tell me about this image. Let's get the first one up again, Ben. <laughs> it's burrito cat. You're in riding space. a burrito. Um, <laughs> why, why would why it not that be? my question. Yeah, yeah. Why would it not be riding a burrito <laughs> in outer space? You food with you when you do space travel. Uh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, the cat does know. Uh, the so, astronauts no, have burritos. So, uh, but this is true. Uh, by the way, I don't want to be on a spaceship with an astronaut who's eating a burrito. I'm <laughs> just saying. Tight spaces? Sorry. Uh, what's? Let's talk about what's behind that. Can you recognize it? I mean, you guys are really good at. Since that's a real thing. What is that? Do you know? Uh, I think Something. it's an. It's a. So the Carina Nebula is like a huge star forming region that's in the southern hemisphere. It's kind of like the southern hemisphere version of the Orion Nebula. Okay. And that's like a one particular, um, like, dust cloud in the Carina Color Nebula. It might have a. I feel like it might be called a caterpillar or something like that. Uh, could be, yeah. This is a I little bit a of our, our with party that on trick. It. Yeah, that's a gorgeous, especially wow. these images. Like um, sometimes they're ground-based wide-field images. Sometimes they're Hubble Space Telescope images. I think this one might be a Hubble Space Telescope image. Nice. And just the colors are beautiful on it. Hey, check this out. So uh, uh, John John uh, Reddecker says, "Is that a cat paw in the background?" Ah, look at that down the bottom. I know exactly what he's talking about. It looks like a little, little cat paw. The little See that thing color? It looks like a cat paw playing like before you play like uh, when they play with a ball of string. Yeah, yeah it's there is a cat, cat paw, paw nebula. nebula. That's not it, though. And that's not it. <laughs> no. Hey, way to go. But, you, but, you know, just put, make like an astronomer and calls it like you sees it. Yeah. Like, that's what we that's do. That's what is we, do with we, constellations. Yeah. yeah. Whatever it looks like, like that's oh, what you call it. It looks like yeah. a dipper, you know. So, <laughs> so there you go. It, but there's a yeah. big one and a little one. So right. Oh, there's, there's the, the cat's, cat's paw. Now. And that's the cat's paw. Right, okay, guys, very cool. Right. Nicely done, Ben, on the uh, come up. And here we go. All right. Um... And it, look, there are a lot of people saying the cat's paw nebula. They're all about it. Oh, good. Let's uh, let's they move on. Know. They already know. Uh, let me tell you something. These are Star Talk. These are Star Talk fans. They yeah, are. Like they are. They do not let you get away with anything. They are on point. These Star Talk fans. But did they know that they can buy clothing with the cat's paw nebula on the clothing? You can find that at startorialist.com. Ah, <laughs> which, which I also, it's just a blog. Like we we ha do have some affiliate links, but we're not a store. We don't sell this stuff. No. We just find the stuff, curate it, and share it with fellow astronomy, science, fashion-loving people. <laughs> all in one place for you. Yeah. Ooh. I wish we did make money on Cody it. O'Hare just oh. said, uh, Cody O'Hare just said, uh, and, and now I want a burrito. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, I love cheese puffs. Uh, look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> now I am hungry. So, is that a Cheeto or a cheese puff? That's a cheese puff. I'd say that's a cheese puff. It's a cheese puff. Yeah, but Cheetos Cheeto now makes puff. cheese puffs. No. The brand. Get out. I do. 
oh my God, you just changed my life. Yeah. Okay. They even make a healthy version. That's still pretty oh, cheesy. Oh, the baked, yeah, baked Orange Cheetos. and cheesy. It's not actually that bad. Okay, I am, when we leave the studio, I am going to go <laughs> get me some baked Cheetos cheese puffs, something I've never had in my life, and I know my life is not complete right now without that. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, yeah. so to go back to the Cheetos puff. Now, do you recognize anything in this picture? Would that be anything that rings a bell to you? I think it could be a real image, but it's definitely manipulated. Yeah, Color it looks scheme. real to me, but the the top le uh, the top left hand and the bottom right hand look a little bit different, and so it might actually yeah. be two put together. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it's cool. Hard to tell. Hey, yeah, just to let you know, the, that uh, star in the top right corner. If you see a diffraction spike around the star, like the, the four X's. points, yeah, yeah, that usually tends to mean that it's a real image because that's something that happens when you. You take an, an image of a bright object. Oh, that's, cool. so that's yeah, and it doesn't necessarily happen when you like say splatter paint or something like that. Yeah. Cool. So that's one of the ways that you can tell a real image of stars. Uh, you know what? I can't believe that uh, we are actually gleaning science from this <laughs> stupid segment right now because it is the most it is silly not thing. Stupid. It's the most <laughs> silly thing we've ever done, but yet we're still getting really? science out of it. This is the most silly thing. Seriously, this yeah. is the uh, silliest thing we've. Believe. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. It's hey, by the way. Oh, I love it. By the way. Um, <laughs> This is the silliest thing we've ever done. There's the silliest. I tell pizza head a cat. Do they really? So I want to know: Do they really put the cat's head through the pizza, or is oh, that is photoshopped? That? No, it better be well, photoshopped. There's costumes that you can buy for your own cats that do that. I think both, either one oh. of those, are animal cruelty. Not if the pizza eat. Not if the cat eats its way out of the pizza, <laughs> then it's not animal just cruelty. Him his just giving them dinner. That's all. Uh, by the way, Ashley Malk says, "Summer, I love you," and I think that's because your last name has part of her first name. <laughs> I'll buy that. That's fine. Oh, that's very cool. Team Ash, way to go. Uh, science is in all forms, LOL. And uh, that was Rick Brown who just said, no, oh, Rick didn't, that moved. I'm sorry, Rick, you didn't say that. You said Science Cheeto, which I love. Now uh, I want pizza, actually, though. I, you know what? I'm getting pizza and Cheetos, damn it. I'm doing pizza and Cheetos it. right after we leave pizza here. Pizza and Cheetos in a burrito? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Cheetorito. <laughs> a Cheetorito, baby. Pizza Cheetorito. <laughs> Pizza Cheetorito. <laughs> yeah, All right. We, do we have another one, Ben? Do we have another uh, image? Last but not least. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I like to think this cat is like, I love Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness there's no food in this one, at least. That is amazing. First of all, that cat is high as I don't know what. Look how dilated <laughs> his pupils are. All right. That is amazing right there. And secondly, is there any image in this photo that could be real or you recognize i don't recognize it but recognize. i still think it could i mean the the colors flashing different colors that's obviously manipulated but like the background still looks very spacey like yeah. realistically spacey it looks really yeah. realistically so, spacey yeah. i think it's still it's real and where would i mean these images where do they come from for real like i mean can they, they come from i know hubble yeah, and kepler NASA, and, and nasa and eso and but, the european space. But when you go online yeah. do, are there any ground-based amateur images that actually make it yeah. that 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 are real? Like yeah. So oh, yeah. do you know there's a website, uh, Astronomy Picture of the Day? Yeah. Yes. Apod. Yeah. Um, that's run by astronomers, and a lot of times those images that they use can be, they are taken from and made by amateur astronomers. Yeah. Here oh. on Earth, there's a lot of them that are like professional amateurs. Oh, yeah, there you so go. Speak. Oh, and some of the Dan pulled it up on yeah, the So there's always a credits at the bottom and that you can link to more information about the picture, more information about the source of the image, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's a great resource. That is super oh, cool. That is super cool. Uh, I took these pictures yeah. with my cell phone. Chase Faulkner just told us that. That picture, he, he was there. <laughs> <laughs> the one with all the galaxies? Chase, you, yeah. you're a funny guy. <laughs> Dawn of the Dead Cats, I like that one from Andrew oh. Downey, who, who, our big zombie cat who put zombie his face cat. up there. Yeah, Obviously. very cool. And did uh, we mention that it's Catterday? It's Catterday. What's up with Catterday? that we have on our blog. Oh, really? Because of the cats. It's not space. just the gifts, Dang. but you can buy clothing with space and cats on it. Okay. Because why not? What? And I think there's even, I think there is leggings maybe that I've seen yes. with cats and space and pizza. Absolutely. And probably have. cats and space and hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Why not? Right. Oh, sorry. You can't forget that I can yeah. has cheeseburgers. Oh, man. I can't wait for cats and wine in space to be <laughs> honest. Because I, look there at that. Is. There you go. And oh, I thought our list as well. That's what's up That's on Catter Day. Our cat nice. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That is very cool. I like very that cool. one that's cat. It's like orbits. 
Um, I, I just lost this question. I wanted to, because somebody said, here you go. Oh, that one. I love that one. Yeah. That's Hawking radiation coming from the black hole. <laughs> That's very cool. That's a black hole. That it's, is... it's purring radiation. I don't know. So, Jan, Jan listen to this. of cat momentum. <laughs> uh, Daniel uh, Sh uh, Schoenberg says this. Can we please talk about how the James Webb telescope took 20 years to build and will only have a 10-year lifespan? Is that true? Uh, it's that a sounds design. a little accusatory. It does sound a little, it's yeah. it's got a design lifetime for five years, which is like the standard. So that's what all of them are okay. when they're the funding from NASA and NSF, the National Science Foundation. Mm -hmm. So, But they think most likely it'll go for 10. Right. Um, well, what was the Hubble lifetime when it was originally launched? Yeah. Well, it's probably it's roughly the same, but still going. It had five service missions. Yeah, okay, it has so, some service because we did missions. ask that yeah. question. We will not be able to service. Yeah. yeah. Right. And also, okay, but so also, Mars rovers were meant to last for ninety days, and there's my James Webb them lasted for telescope. very many years. Yeah. Yeah. And a part of, it has to it has to happen. So it's for the James Webb Space Telescope in particular. Um, the limitation is the coolant. You exactly. wouldn't think in space that we'd have to actually cool down the telescope because yeah. space is already so cold. But because of the electronics and, and stuff that's always going on with the space telescope, and it still needs to be even cooler in order for the infrared electronics to work, the infrared right. detectors and things like that. And so it will have coolant, and that coolant will have a temporary lifetime. But usually we build around, so you know some things are going to stop working when the coolant runs out, but other things can keep working even after the coolant runs out. So maybe shorter wavelength instruments or something like that. And so we always, astronomers tend not to try to over-promise, but then they do over-deliver. I think you'll agree. I That's hope you'll cool. agree. That's very cool. That's just like my life. Lower expectations. Yes. <laughs> just lower people's expectations. You always look like a star. That's and you right. never know what we'll be able to do, just like with Kepler. When things start functioning, we find these little workarounds. Right. It's yeah. kind of cool. You find a way to make find it work. Find a way to make longer. it work. Right. right. There you go. Kepler. Well, listen. We got to go, but in the words of who said this, Kevin Dahl, Schrodinger would be proud. Yay! <laughs> High praise. Thank you. Hey, listen, we're going to go, but in the meantime, let me tell you, uh, StarTalkAllAccess.com. Make sure you go check it out because all of the things that we do on StarTalk are available on StarTalkAllAccess.com. We actually uh, just did, the three of us just did two shows and two original shows that you will not be able to see anywhere else except StarTalkAllAccess.com. Hey, I'm Chuck Nice. You know we love you. And uh, I got to come up with a catchphrase because I can't say keep looking up. Right? A catchphrase? That, that, I need to come up with a catchphrase. Cat Did I say catchphrase? <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm Chuck Nice. <laughs>